This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Type your driving challenge step B, types of corners. So we're gonna look at different types of corners from around the fake and real world. So as we were saying in the chat, um, I never grew up with a PSP, so the game's gonna look better from here on because um, someone in the, in the chat, Alvaro, told me about uh, the, the external output mode for like P, uh, PSP TV or whatever. PlayStation TV, Celica mentioned PlayStation TV. I never grew up with a PSP. I don't know anything about that. So, very cool. Anyways, we're gonna go back to Gran Turismo 4 Prologue. I've never played the game, but I've seen people play it. We're gonna basically do the final corner of beginner course, driving through gradual curves. Now, why TCS1? Again, because um, launch. So we still got a pretty decent amount of wheel spin at the start. And one thing you have to remember too, because this game was meant for the PSP, there is no like pressure sensitive buttons or there's no like analog mode. It's literally just like 100% input, 0%, 100%, 0%. So that's gonna make things really tricky. 49K, Toyota Vits for boys. Yo, that Vits is pretty sick. Um, if Az is here, I'm jealous that Azza has one. What's up, Ben? So B2, uh, driving through gradual S-curves. We're going to be at Midfield Raceway on the um, S's after turn one. Ready? And we have a Civic Type R for this one. Start. So we're going to swing a little bit wide. Shift there. So now we don't really lose much momentum. And when you swing wide, you can be flat out. Because I feel like if you stayed in the line that the that the computer gave you, you'd have to lift a little bit. So that's why I took a lot of the rumble strips and to just keep it flat on the gas. Well, yeah, yeah, no TC. We're playing with no TC, so we're we're gonna we're gonna do this um, horribly. <laughs> So driving through hairpins, that's going to be the first corner of Autumn Ring with a Mazda Ready? MX-5 Miata. Start. As you can see, now I have the buttons correctly adjusted. Missed the apex completely, but let's swing wide to make up the deficit. And it made up the deficit. There we go. Ooh, okay. Fuck. Yeah, um, I remember a friend of mine actually had that same problem, where um, he had a PSP 3000, but he had a 1000 battery, I think, and um, I remember in high school, when every time he'd play it, like, he could never close the back cover, it would just stick out. Anyways, B4, mastering the high-speed corner, it's gonna be turn 3 at Fuji Speedway 05. Ready? This is a corner that I freaking loved when I was time-trialing for the Supra Cup. So yes, that's the difference between 2019 TMC and 2021 TMC. People who've never watched me do GT Sports stuff before finished seventh in the Super Cup for North America. There's freaking cones there, so we can't take advantage. So we can take a tight line here to carry momentum, and boom, gold just like that. Normally, I swing way more wide and carry more speed, but the cones kind of scared me. I didn't want to get a failure on the first attempt. Let's save the replay for the thumbnail sake. I forgot to do that last time. We're going to go ahead and um, I sort of vaguely remember what exams I got thumbnails for in the original playthrough that I forgot to upload. Lucos, thank you for the follow. So I have to keep in mind, what did I, what haven't I used? That's one exam I didn't use last time because I did the Vits one and uh, yeah, driving on dirt with a Toyota Celica GT4 SC205. Ready? I, I, I love when um, it's just spec racing, one single car for all the different tracks. Wait. Sikkim, you were in, um, Sky's, you were in Sky's, um, community? Or you still are? During his GT6 days? What the fuck? I thought I just knew you from GT Sport. That was a sloppy exit, but I had an brown boy. Oh, okay. Shit. Well, fucking hell. Good to see you here, man. Anyways, um, yeah, that was a sloppy exit. We... Thankfully, didn't trigger the mission failed or the driving mission failed or whatever, and uh, we got that done. So the final challenge for B6, driving a large S-curve, high-speed ring, the the S's. Ready? Brown Boy 0093, gotcha. Start. 
I should throw a little early, but I think within the power band we were fine. Now this car is an MR, but it's not snapover series, so we can we can be harder on the gas on the exit. Pick a wide exit. Boom! First try. Nicely done. The Monaco test with the Enzo? Oh my god, I vaguely remember that one. So that's going to be interesting to revisit. Yeah, this is going well so far. This is going very well so far. Congratulations, you have completed Challenge Group B. You can now move on to Challenge Group D. You are now in Challenge Group D, and the user's soundtrack has been unlocked. You can now listen to your favorite MP3s when you're behind the wheel. So I think the ultimate goal for that is we're going to turn off the music when we do the single player mode and then it's just going to be like Spotify requests are going to be open for whatever the fuck. Because obviously it's going to be just chilling doing the, the single player mode. So anyways, next up is step C, mastering difficult situations. And before I go, as uh, for the YouTube people watching, as you can see, when we exited the menu, one day went by. So we're on day three now. I don't care what's in the dealer. We'll, we'll figure that out once we're done with all of these.